This is Block 11, Reagan's Revolution, Section 5, The Cold War Ends with the Election of 1988. Reagan retired from the White House in January of 1989, one of the most popular presidents in history. His approval rating upon leaving office was 65%. His loyal Vice President, George H.W. Bush, uh, had been nominated to run for president on a platform of continuing Reagan's policies. Um, he was hampered in 1988 uh, by a 1987 stock market crash that wiped out quite a bit of wealth, uh, but the economy bounced back very, very quickly from that. Uh, the Democrats, in an attempt to get uh, the conservatives out of the White House, turned to the governor of Massachusetts, Michael Dukakis. Um, Dukakis faced the task of running for president with some serious drawbacks. First of all, uh, in a world where, you know, foreign policy was very important, he is still saddled by the Democrats' post-Vietnam reputation as being soft on communism, uh, soft on the Soviet Union, and soft on defending America's interest around the world. That after eight years of Reagan, uh, to go back to the perceived softness of the Democrats uh, was something that Dukakis would have to work really hard uh, to win over. Uh, in or in, in a, in a attempt to make him look like a strong leader um, who supported America's military, Dukakis had himself pictured riding a tank um, at some campaign stop, and he honestly, he looked utterly ridiculous. Uh, and George H.W. Bush, who was um, a fighter pilot, the head of the CIA, he was a foreign policy expert, him and his team made a lot of fun of Michael Dukakis, for, who had never served in the military, uh, for looking so ridiculous riding that tank. Um, Dukakis was unable to connect with voters. He was emotionless. Uh, he came from, you know, one of the most liberal states uh, in the nation, uh, Massachusetts, if not the most liberal state in the nation. Um, and really, although the election was close for a little while, um, George H.W. Bush won the election handily, uh, 426 electoral votes to 111, and won by over 7 million votes. So that election put George H.W. Bush... Um, who was a foreign policy expert in the driver's seat for the incredible events uh, that were going to happen during his first term in office.